um needless to say it's been a while um hey i'm sorry <laughs> i'm so sorry um i've missed many holidays um i can't even remember the last time i uploaded i'm pretty sure it was the summertime so happy 4th of july happy labor day um what else did i miss happy flag day happy thanksgiving christmas new year's um mlk day um squirrel appreciation day was like two days ago <laughs> but hello i'm back um i it's not that you know i didn't care about youtube anymore or that i didn't want to document anything anymore it was technology <laughs> So, um, let's talk about my hair. My, um, so my year and a half update was in October. So right now I'm a year and nine months locked and my two years will be in April, um, around April 9th or so. Um, and so I've heard other people say this before, <clears throat> kind of correlating their life with the development of their locks. And... Um, it's pretty interesting because so much can happen in two years a huge advancement from where I started back in 2013 and you could say the same thing for my hair so it's been really amazing to even see how my hair and my life have progressed in the past almost two years and so I'm really thankful for you know the advancement in both areas so yeah um, but to talk about more specifics of my hair, I'm going to take it down. Um, I've been exercising for the past few months, so um, I just worked out this morning, so that's why I'm just in a t-shirt and my hair is just in a bun. Um, again, so this is my hair, y'all. So I'm going to wash it today. It's been two weeks. I usually go two weeks um, between washing. Um, I could probably do a week, but I'm just too lazy. Um, or what I've been doing lately, I've been really in love with chunky um, corn roll braid outs. And um, I finally know how to corn roll. They're not the best, but I'm getting better. Like, I finally know how to corn roll. <laughs> um, but they, they, I do like four of them. So I do like two on the side, two in the front slash side, and then two in the back. And they give you like these really pretty body waves. Um, for me, they can last like up to two days, three days. I could kind of stretch it out. But day two, one and two are the best days. Um, the way I maintain that is just like flip all my hair forward. And then I tie a, um, a scarf around the back and then tie it in the front. Um, one of those long, like rectangular ones um, or whatever ones you have, it just needs to be long. And then um, over it, I put like my bonnet or my whatever other hair covering I have because the top of my locks are exposed. So I usually like to cover like everything. So yeah, this is, this is my hair, y'all. So, um, as you can see, uh, or maybe not, you can't see, um, but I have a lot of <laughs> twist patterns still visible in my hair. Um, like this is my stubborn one. Like from the start, it was just, I'm not going to look like a lot. I'm going to stay a twist forever in a day. And I have a feeling it's just going to stay like that along with a couple others. I actually saw someone on the train, um, like last year and she had lots like down her back like to the top of her butt and I saw like three inches at the ends of this like twist pattern so I'm like that's gonna be me but I've come to be okay with it in the beginning I was just like so frustrated over it but I'm 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 better with it now but yeah um an interesting thing that I did a few months back back in the summer actually was I um, stopped interlocking because I wanted to have enough new growth to work with in case I decided to cut my locks because 
I was at a place where I was like, do I cut my locks to start over? Like, I, I you know, I've kind of gone back and forth on that. Um, and so five months after that, um, in November, it was sometime in the fall. I was like, eh, I'll, I'm not going to cut them. I'll just go ahead and interlock. The thing was, I found that once I started to interlock, I had butted at the roots. So I had like two strand twist, interlocked portion, and then like a bud that was like extra huge. And then like new growth that hadn't budded yet. And so when I interlock, I have these, some of these lots where it's just this huge bud. And I don't know, the ones that I, I keep finding to show you aren't really the best examples because they don't look that bad. But um, yeah, at first I was like, oh lord, did I mess up my hair? I don't know, but I think they're just going to eventually like condense and smooth out. And if they don't, it's like, oh well. But that was a lesson learned <laughs> um, to be consistent. If you, if you um, interlock, be consistent. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to stick to doing it every two to three months and not push it any pa anywhere past that. So um, also what I'm doing now is um, whenever I interlock the front row, I do not interlock as I don't do as many rotations as I do for the rest of my hair because I like the way palm rolling looks in the front. I just like that twisted root. So I only do like, like I just interlocked my hair last week. And when I got to the front, I actually didn't interlock because um, if I did, I wouldn't have had enough new growth left to palm roll. So I just left it alone. Um, I just love the way that palm rolling looks, but I like the carefree maintenance of interlocking so that's how I kind of compromise so that's what I've been doing with the front so and then another thing I've been noticing is that it's mainly the locks in the front that are doing this but I've noticed that some locks are getting thicker as time progresses not as time progresses but um, I've noticed that the interlocked portion is thicker than the twisted two strand twist portion that I started my hair with which is interesting because a lot of people are like um interlocking thins your locks and it does this and it does that and I think a lot of people don't realize that there are several methods to interlocking your hair you can use a tool you can use your fingers there's a two-point interlock um method that uh, makes thicker locks and there's the three point which is an in between and then there's four point which is what most people know of and most people do and that one will make a tighter hence a thinner but not unhealthy thin just a very a very more tight um condensed lock um, for me i've always 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 done the two point um interlock method because i have thicker locks and i didn't want the um the uh, width to change too much now it's kind of unpredictable you don't know what your hair is going to do so i do have some where they are thinner than the um than what i started with with the twisted portion but they're not unhealthy it's just it's just not like that perfect manicured look that a lot of people want their locks to look like and it's i've come to accept that but a couple in the front have done the opposite they're thicker so for this one right here, it's thick from, so this is one of the buds, by the way, that I'm talking about. It's like budded right here and it's kind of lumpy. But anyway, it's thick from the root to where I first started interlocking. And then this is the two strand twist I started my locks with. And see how much thinner it goes? It goes thick and then thick. Sometimes pinning it like this. And, you know trying to look cutie stuff <laughs> and then also I'll pin like this first row back like this and then have the side the side still hanging kind of like edgy cute thing going I don't know <laughs> but yeah um, my hair doesn't look too long from the front like it it doesn't look much different but from the back you can tell that it's grown I'm so short, I don't know if you can see, but, but yeah. My hair is stretched, so it's not really like 
inaccurate, in my opinion, it's not an accurate um, length check, but yeah, so this is my hair. I'll show you the top. Fuzzy, 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 as usual. But it's kind of cute. I like, I like, I'm starting to like the fuzz at the roots. I always like the fuzz at the roots, actually. It's just the fuzz at the rest of my hair that I didn't like. But, um, yeah. Anyway, anyway, thanks guys for watching. I've also got a few subscribers while I was gone. And, um, I really thank you guys for um, sub subscribing and hopefully you guys catch this video see that I'm back um, and yeah so I'll talk to you guys later